Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can auto upload or bulk upload to OpenSea without having to individually upload each NFT yourself. This is a program that can run in the background and you can go and take a shower, do your chores, do whatever you need to do while it's running and it will auto upload in no time. Now this video is going to be incredibly easy to do and I'm gonna make it super noob friendly for all the beginners out there so if you could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel it would mean a ton as i'm trying to hit my end goal of 100,000 subscribers if you like nft related content you'll be sure to enjoy this channel as i always post nft videos every single week one more thing this video is actually sponsored by the horny moles the horny moles is a naughty nft project that is coming out very soon with its own play to earn game Game. It has a unique star aspect to the project that you should definitely go and check out along with the baby horny moles coming soon. Once again, huge shout out to them for sponsoring this video. All of their links will be down in the description. Alrighty, going on to the video, there will be a few links down there with one being this GitHub and that's the first link you want to click on. Once you're here, it may look confusing if this is your first time using GitHub, but you just want to go to code and download zip and this will download all of this good stuff right here. Now, if you're a returning subscriber of my channel, I actually have uploaded a video on how to bulk upload in the past. However, that video is kind of outdated. It uses a mini mouse macro, which can be buggy at times, and this is a lot better method. Alrighty, the next link that will be down there is Visual Studio Code. You won't need to know how to code anything don't worry but you do want to download this program so make sure you download it next thing you want to do is extract that github folder that you downloaded and it will be in this folder right here if all of these files are here you downloaded it correctly the next thing you want to do is actually transfer in your nfts and the metadata if you don't have the metadata for your nft collection i highly suggest watching my auto generation video where I show you how to auto generate 10,000 plus NFTs. And this goes over how you can get that metadata as it's very important when using this program. So what you wanna do is open up that bulk upload folder that you downloaded and find the source folder. Then go to the images and you basically just want to drag in all of your images that you have into this folder. The next thing you want to do is go to the JSON and drag all of your metadata or JSON files into the folder over here. Alrighty, perfect. The next thing you want to do is open up your Visual Studio Code program and go to File and then Open Folder in the top left and find that folder that you just downloaded. Then open it up by clicking this arrow right here and then finding the Source folder and then going to Images and clicking on one of the images to make sure that everything worked correctly. Let's go to Terminal at the top, then New Terminal, and I'm going to type in python dash dash version and hit enter on my keyboard and as you can see i have python 3.9.6 installed if you don't have python downloaded make sure you do so that will be linked down in the description you will also need pip installed as well those will both be included in the description i'm sure majority of you already have these installed if you did the auto generation tutorial then you 100 percent have these installed and don't have to worry about about even checking the next thing we're going to do is type into the terminal pip install dash r requirements dot text so once it's typed out like so i'm going to hit enter and perfect it is now installed the next thing i'm going to do is type in python upload.py and hit enter and bam this screen right here is going to pop up i just wanted to give a quick shout out to this guy right here he's the one who created this amazing program so shout out him on his twitter the next thing you want to do is go and find your OpenSea collection link now if you haven't created a collection yet you want to go to your profile then go to my collections and hit create a collection
You can set a percentage fee. I'm gonna set mine to five. If you're curious on the percentage fees, I actually have a whole NFT course where I go over all of that good stuff to maximize your profits without scaring away potential customers. That will be linked down in the description. It's gonna ask for your payout wallet address. You can find that on your MetaMask account by just copying the top right there and that's where all of the funds will pay out to then you can set the blockchain we're going to work with polygon as there's going to be no gas fees which is going to be very expensive and we want to avoid then we're going to hit create and this is going to create our collection now if the video you're looking for is to create a minting option on your own nft website then i have the perfect nft course for you i just created an nft course that goes over all of the marketing and brand project building aspects when it comes to making the perfect nft collection if you wanted to learn how to develop your own smart contract or market your project build a website for your project and all of that good stuff make sure to check out the nft course listed below in the description i'll also be giving away a free nft to everyone who is a part of the course it's going to be a part of a collection that i'm dropping in the summer and there's so many more benefits to signing up for the course i'll Ready, so our collection is created. Obviously, I didn't put a lot of effort into it, but you definitely want to add your own banner and a actual image. But for the sake of this video, everything is just a test. So we're going to go back on to that program and it says to paste the link in. So I'm going to get that OpenSea link and copy it and then paste it in by hitting Control V on the keyboard. And it's going to ask for a start number. I'm going to set that to one and the end number I'm going to set to 99 as I have 99 NFTs that I want to bulk upload. Next, it's going to be the default price. This is going to be in a uh, polygon. So I want the default price to be 0.01. That is going to be the default price. Then for the title, I'm going to call it wobbles because that's what my NFT is going to be called or potentially going to be called. And we're going to do hashtag. This way, the program will automatically assign a number at the end of the hashtag. So I highly suggest formatting it like this. Then you can add your description to the NFT. NFT, so I'm going to say this is the Wobbles NFT created by the Viral Kingdom. Make sure to leave the NFT image format and PNG unless all of yours are JPEG. And I can actually go and check that very quickly because I don't even know if mine are JPEG or PNG. And they are a PNG file type. Okay, so I can leave it at PNG. So then I'm going to ask for the duration. You can just set this to however long you want it to take to upload. I'm going to set it to the minimum, which is one day. Then you you can go to your folder and this is where you need to find the bulk upload folder and make sure it's in there next thing you want to do is hit open chrome browser and then go to meta mask chrome extension and download that off chrome you may already have it on your regular chrome but you want to add it to this one and you can create your metamask wallet if you don't already have one so i'll just make one really quick next you want to go to OpenSea and make sure you're logged in on OpenSea. it's important to note that that collection you created earlier is using the same wallet you're using on this version of chrome if you're using two different metamask wallets it will not work so do keep that in mind something that's important to note is make sure your OpenSea link ends in assets slash create i'm not sure if i included that before but make sure it does also when you're importing the folder make sure it links directly to the src folder and not just the bulk upload folder once you're ready you can hit the green start button by hitting start and it should open up the browser log you into OpenSea, and get started creating your nfts now as you can see it's auto inputting all of the necessary information for our nft and it just did one that easily you want to make sure your browser extension is maximized in the background and then select start and bam as you can see it's auto uploading all of the select information that we need for this nft collection well guys i hope that explained how to do this method if you have any questions please leave them down in the comment section and i'll try to answer them also make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so we can hit that end goal of 100,000 subscribers and make sure to check out that nft course if you're interested in literally every single aspect of creating an nft collection i probably cover it on my course 
this you can check all the different lessons that are involved plus the amazing discord benefits you receive that will be linked down in the description i hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace see ya later thank you for watching the video and don't forget to remember thank you for watching the video and if you're a fan subscribe if you can Keep